Hello, my sisters and brothers in Delaware, and happy All Saints Day to you as we remember those great saints who have gone before us, who have paved the way in the faith, who have built this church that we know and love, but much more importantly, who have proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ to the world. Happy All Saints Day indeed. I'm coming to you today to remind you that in less than three months, we gather for our annual convention. We'll meet again as we did last year at the Princess Royale Hotel in Ocean City, Maryland. The theme of this year's conference will be, say it out loud, the power of the word. Say it out loud, the power of the word. It is meant to remind us of many things, of the power of the word of God, of Holy Scripture, to fill our lives and sustain us and to guide us. It's to remind us of the power of our own words, of the power of, of our words to invite people to our churches and into this holy work that we do. It's to remind us of the power of the word to heal in this day and age when it seems that everything we hear on television and in the media is divisive, we're reminded that we, as followers of Jesus Christ, have the power to bring a healing word. Our keynote speaker, in fact, will be the Reverend Canon Chuck Robertson. He is one of the canons who works for the presiding bishop, and he is known for many things, one of those being his presentation on building civil discourse, on the church being a place that can offer sacred, holy, safe, brave space for those with disagreements uh, to speak and to be heard. It's a way for our, our words to be not only those of encouragement, but of healing. That is our charge this year, my sisters and brothers, and I hope that many of you, many of you, will find your way to Ocean City, Maryland at the end of January. Now, a few things to remember if you're thinking about coming to convention. Three things in particular. Number one, the delegates from every parish need to be certified. Now, this is really something that senior wardens and rectors or priests in charge need to be worried about, making sure that every parish has completely and properly certifies their delegates. Second thing, however, is anyone who wants to come to convention, and it's open to anyone who is part of the Episcopal Church in Delaware, that you must register. Register online and let us know that you're going to be there so that you can get the proper credentials to come in and to eat and those kinds of very important things. Thirdly, you also must make reservations at the hotel. Of course, if you want to stay, you'll get great rates. The sooner you do it, the better. So remember, certification, registration, and get your reservations in. It's going to be a lot of fun, my sisters and brothers. Not only will we talk about the power of the word, we'll also do the other business of the church that needs to be done. We will help set the priorities for the coming year. And Friday night, we'll have the Delaware Late Show with Bishop Brown one more time. In fact, if you're interested in showing off your talents this year, then get ready to let me know in about a week or so, I'll send out a call for talent and look forward to hearing uh, from you to let me know you'd like to be a part of the Delaware Late Show. So keep an eye out for that. My sisters and brothers, the annual convention is a time to get together, to celebrate, to worship, to work, and to play. And I look forward to seeing you there. Like those faithful saints, saints who have gone before us, we have work to do in our age, and it is good and holy work. I look forward to being there with you. May the peace of Christ be with you always.